Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be opening up my second Legacy of the Valiant booster box as promised. I need to really pull the Noble Knight cards since I didn't get a single one in the first box. Uh, and I don't really know like what's the most expensive secret rare right now or the most valuable card in the set. So if you know, post a comment letting me know which or the, what are the cards to look out for. Alright, I'll do just like I did with the last box. I'll start with the right side again. There we go. I think I pulled, like, in the last box, just to recap, I pulled a variety of a bunch of things. I got Bujin, Ghost Trick, Gravekeeper, Sylvan. A large spread of a bunch of stuff. And the first one, the first pack has a super rare Sylvan. That's not bad. I prefer to pull... A Sylvan over a um, Gravekeeper or a Bujin because Gravekeepers are an old deck. I don't really like them that much anymore. Uh, and Bujin, I don't have any Yamatos, so I can't do anything with that deck anyway. Yamato is going to be one of those cards like Brotherhood of the Firefist Bearer where he's going to get reprinted as a super rare in the tins for 2014. Alright, so number C, 69 Heraldry, Crest of Horror again, another one of those. Well, I'm not really going to spend too much time on the comments in this video, so hopefully this is going to be a lot shorter and I'll just be straight to the point. Oh, and I, if you were paying attention in the last video, you may have noticed that I made a mistake. I said I only pulled one white Dustin, but I actually pulled two. Alright, Bujinji Fox, I don't remember... I think I pulled one of these in the last one. Whoa. Wow, that's a huge letdown. The second secret rare. I think I was like joking about this too. Like I was saying, what if I watch me pull like a second <laughs> Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley? And that's the first time this has actually ever happened to me. I've never actually pulled the. Uh, and I think I just jinxed myself because I said that I was going to pull another one of these. I pulled a second secret rare of the same secret rare in the second box. That's that's crazy. Wow. Well, now I'm gonna have to revive Gravekeepers. Cause they got a bunch of new cards now. Oh, and I don't think I pulled one of these. Sylvan Peacekeeper. I don't remember that from the first box. That's a huge letdown, though. That's two Imperial. Unless this is like a really expensive card. Even if it was, I probably wouldn't have bothered with the Gravekeepers to begin with. Now I'm going to be forced to rebuild them. Oath of Companionship and a. Oh, yeah, I remember hearing about this card. Powered Insectron. This is actually a pretty decent card. Yeah, this is this is actually a pretty good card. That's a decent one. That's a that's actually it's uh, like an Insector Synchro Monster, I guess. Insectron. Okay, okay, super rare. All right, Bujinji, another one of those, and a. A uh, ultra rare number C101 Silent Honor Dark. I think, did I pull the other one of those? Like the opposite of that? I don't remember. Well, this is the first ultra rare of this box. So already we pulled like quite a number of hollows on this side of the box. The two people were splitting this box like half and half. Whoever got this one probably got the better half. They got the secret and one of the ultras and two super rares. On a motto, I know one of those things. Right now, after seeing all these cards, I'm most interested in the Sylvan archetype. Probably because that's the only real new archetype in here. And here's another Sylvan. Uh, 
another rank magic thing. Luminous Dragon Ritual. Paladin of Photon Dragon. What is this? Paladin? Wow. I just, I was wondering, like, did I see that one? A ritual monster. Now there's something you don't see every day. A ritual monster. Paladin of Photon Dragon. That's interesting. So apparently I didn't pull a, one of every rare in the last box. Ghost trick go round. Oh yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I pulled that. I saw that. And another Bujinji hair. Wow, another Bujin card. Watch me pull another one of that uh, exceed thing, or whatever that ultra rare was. This will be terrible. These are these are for me. These are pretty bad box openings. Wow, like that's already most of all the hollows. There's only what two super rares and one ultimate and one ultra. So there's like like what sixty percent of the hollows, fifty five percent of the hollows. And it looks like there's my ultimate rare, and it is a number thirty nine Utopia Roots. So I pulled uh, the hollow in the other one. Now I pulled the ulti in this one. Oh, and this was the rare. Wow, it, almost all the hollows are on one side. <laughs> so that leaves one ultra and possibly two supers on this side. So there's still hope to pull Noble Knights, depending on what, I don't remember what super rare, but I know, I know they have like secret rares and ultra rares. Oh, there's my third white Dustin. So now I have a play set of those. Gravekeeper's Heretic. Oh yeah, well I think there was also supposed to be a Monarch card in here. Like a new Monarch thing was supposed to be in here. A Mega Monarch. I really hope I don't pull that. I don't. I never liked Monarch. Like. That'll be another waste if I pull out. Watch me pull one because I said so. Uh, Fairy Knight, Ingunar, another plant support card. I guess that's okay. At least it's not a Bujin. Okay, so one more of those and one more of those. I don't know, this box seems... I think I like the other box more. Bujinji Fox and a ultra rare Rank up Magic Astral Force. It has a huge paragraph, so it must mean that it does a lot of stuff. And it obviously has to do with Exceed Monsters. Was totally not expecting that, because I had no idea that deck, that card was actually even in this booster. Alright, so that means there's hopefully one more super rare. Bujin Unity. Hidden Temples of Necro Valley. That's, I think, my third one now. 
Necrophiles are definitely coming back. I pulled two of their secret rare. I pulled some of their whatever. I pulled that, that shaman thing. Watch me pull um, Merrick next. Automatopoeia. And a Queen Angel of Roses. Another plant support. A level 7 with 2400 attack like Megalo. I guess that's okay. I don't know how useful this would be in plants. It's uh, Earth, as most of the, most of them are. I guess that's okay. I don't know. I'd rather get Noble Knights though. So that's gonna be it, guys. That's what I pulled. Let me just finish this box. Actually, I'm a little underwhelmed by this. Probably this second thing ruined the box for me. Oh, a fourth white Dustin. So two, two in, um, well, so this was a rare. This was a rare. That's terrible. Yeah, this box was worse than the first one. <laughs> I'll show, I'll do a recap of the first one. And you guys can post a comment below which one you think was a better box. I'm going to say that I think the first box was better. You can disagree. Oath of another one of those. And that's the end. Okay, so just to recap. Uh, you can see here, I pulled, my secret rare was Imperial, Tomb of Necro Valley, my ultimate rare was number 39, Utopia Roots, that's pretty bad, uh, number C101, Silent Honor Dark, was one of the ultra rares, and then Rank Up Magic Astral Force was the other one, and then the super rares were Queen Angel of Roses, Fairy Knight, uh, Ingunar, Bujin, G Hair, Powered, Insectron, and a Sylvan Blade Fender. Alright, and then let's show what I got in the first one. The first one, I got the exact same Secret Rare. I got number 101, so this already probably is going to make this box win. Uh, I got the Sylvan Exceed Ultra Rare, and I got the Bujin, the new Bujin uh, Exceed, and then I had a Ghost Trick Mary. Which is also pr probably pretty good because Ghost Tricks, I kind of like them. And then the Bujin here, another one. Gravekeeper Shaman, the Princess of Autumn Leaves, and the Obedient School, which is also a pretty decent card. So I'm going to go ahead and say the first box was better. Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.